Okay, this is yet another video for my uh, website, uh, pfsensetup.com. It's a series of instructional videos in which I show you how to do some basic things with your PFSense uh, firewall. And this video, I'm going to cover the upgrade process. Um, and so, for, uh, first, we're going to log into the uh, PFSense firewall. So, I'm going to go here and uh, click on the login button. And uh, you can see that we're on 2.2.3, and there's an update available because the latest version is 2.2.4. Well, one way that you can upgrade uh, your your PFSense box is to download the image from the, the uh, ISO from from uh, pfsense.org. So we can go to pfsense.org here. There's a download now button here, very convenient, and click on that, and you see 2.2.4 upgrade is the second button here and click on that and it has a handy little form here so we select computer architectures i386 in this case um since i'm i'm currently running off of a neoware pin client that doesn't have an optical drive we want to uh, live cd with insar on usb mem memstick and console is vga and we have a list of uh, downloads here and also the checksum so we can confirm that, that the integrity of the download. Well, fortunately, we don't have to do this because we go back to the uh, console page here and um, you can see there's a click here, update available, click here to view update link. So we, just, we can just click on this. And that takes us to the firmware auto update page. Um, and we can uh, we can do the, the update from here. Um, now, you'll notice at the bottom here, there's a checkbox, perform full backup prior to upgrade. Well, I have limited disk space on here. In fact, you can see, go back here, um, disk usage uh, is, um, okay, here, yeah, 57% of, of uh, four, 40, 484 megabytes. This is, it's, the NeoWare thin client that I that I bought has a 512 megabyte uh, solid state drive, so very limited space that I don't want to use up by uh, by putting a, a backup on it. But fortunately, we can create a backup and download it. So let me go to uh, Diagnostics. Here we have Backup Restore. Um, so I'll go, so I'll click on that on the diagnostics menu, and here we can. There's a section here backup configuration, so the backup area will be all. Um, and let's see, do not backup pack of it. Let's see, there's an option here encrypt this configuration file. Why not? We'll click, uh, click on this checkbox here and provide a password. And I will include the RRD data because uh, I've done this before and the files are not that large. So we'll do download configuration here. And we should be able to uh, download this fairly quickly. Um, let's see, uh, and, uh, 
Actually, I'm, I think I think we may save time if we don't back up our RD data. So let me just uh, we're gonna do not back up our RD data and do download configuration again. Let's see uh, how quickly this downloads. And we're still waiting. This takes this takes much longer. I'm gonna pause the recording and uh, just wait for it to finish. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, it's the. The backup is now available. It took it a, about another minute after I I paused it. So uh, let's do save file. Um, let's do OK. And let's just show this in the. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, can we show this in the download folder here? Um, let's see, show all downloads. Ah, uh, here we go. Open containing folder, and we'll open it up with uh. LibreOffice Writer, so you can see what it looks like. Oh wait, it's open up. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, this shows uh shows that that the file is uh, encrypted. Oh, here it is. LibreOffice is uh. LibreOffice has opened it, so we can look at it in LibreOffice. But you can see here that it's, uh, it's it's all just looks like random characters, so it it has in fact been encrypted. Um. Oh yeah, here you go. Um. So you can see this is this is just uh it looks like, like uh random text. Um okay so let's go back to system the control panel here. Actually we can go to system firmware if you want. Um and here's the auto update tab, so we'll click on that. And we'll click on invoke the invoke auto upgrade button now to update uh pf sensor so i'm going to click on that and it's, it says downloading updates this is going to do that and then it's going to take some further time to do the to, to complete the installation um and this will take some time um you know it can take it can take a, um up to an hour to complete so i'm going to set a timer here and let's just see how long it takes to uh to update here it's on 3 3% so this is going to this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the recording again, and I'll come back uh, when it's complete. Okay, and just pa unpausing the recording briefly. Um, for about 20 minutes into the into when I started the upgrade, and the download still isn't yet complete. We're up to 81%. You can see here, auto update 
download status actually let's make that a little bigger yeah um we're up to 81 percent so 20 minutes into it and we still haven't quite downloaded the the um the the update and so this this could take quite some time so uh i'll get back to you when uh the when the update is complete so i'm going to pause it again okay just another update here we're 30 minutes into the upgrade process and the it's finished downloading and now you can see it says pf sense is now upgrading the firewall will reboot once the operation is completed and that's one thing that um, I didn't really point out before is that uh, this a firmware update will require a reboot of your firewall. So you want to you know wait until a, t a time when you can you know when when you can have an interruption of service and and uh, not be affected too adversely by it. So it's not something that you want to do in the middle of a work day most likely um here it's uh sunday it's currently about um it's yeah you know, as you see here 7 56 a.m so uh you know i thought it was worth uh it was it would be okay to upgrade so anyway uh i'll pause the recording again okay we're about an hour and 20 minutes into the upgrade uh process and I reload the page and I got the the uh the PFSense login page so we'll see what what happens when we try to log in and according to the information on the dashboard here we're on the latest version of uh PFSense so it looks like the the upgrade was successful um so i guess that's it uh, so it just it shows that the you know a that the the upgrade process for pf sense is relatively easy um it just requires a few mouse clicks and and you're done uh you probably should make a backup of your configuration before you you upgrade um and let's see we're up to cpus five percent memory use 18 percent disk usage of 73 percent so you know it's probably a good idea not to not to um back it up onto the hard drive here um and the you know the other things that it takes it can take over you know a long time for it to complete the upgrade process it can take over an hour um okay well uh that's it for this video if you found this video helpful, you might consider going checking out my website at uh, pfsensesetup.com. And um, I just acquired a, a some uh, a, a, a Adaptech uh, sport board card, so I may be testing that with a, a multi WAN setup soon. And if I do, I'll make a video. Um, but uh, that's it for this video. I'll see, I'll see you in the next video.